Welcome to our lesson about mass and texture. Let's begin by right-clicking on Material, selecting Edit Material. I'm going to use AISI 1020, Apply and Close. Now let's go to File, Save As. Save as Type, eDrawings File. I'm going to leave the default name and click Save. We'll use the current configuration, click OK. And let's simply open the file by dragging and dropping it into eDrawings. I want to learn how we can enhance our view a little bit. Let's go to Tools, Options. And under Performance, we have a Graphic Boost option, but it's grayed out right now. Let's close and close this document. Now let's go back to Tools and Options, and the Performance area is available. I've checked Graphics Boost. Let's select Best Appearances, including Reflections, and click OK. Now let's open the eDrawing document again. By the way, if this option wasn't available, check to see if your video card is one of those listed as supported by SolidWorks at SolidWorks.com. Another thing to check, right-click on your desktop, Properties, go to the Settings tab, click the Advanced button, go to the Troubleshoot tab. Make sure the Hardware Acceleration slider is all the way up to full. I'm going to cancel out of this window and cancel here as well. Now let's select Mass Props. Here we see Material, Density, Mass, Volume, and Surface Area. Let's change the Length unit from Millimeters to Centimeters. Now we have a density shown of 7.9 grams per cubic centimeter. If you're using a light material, like plastic, under Density you might see a value of zero. The reason for this is that you'd need to increase the number of decimal places. You can do that with this drop-down menu. This concludes our lesson about mass and texture.